Welcome back. A winning day on the water has ended in an almighty bang for Team New Zealand after a crane failure saw their multi-million dollar boat dropped from a great height as it was lifted back on shore. The crew has worked overnight to assess the damage, but it was instantly clear a huge effort will be required to get the boat back on the water. Here's our senior correspondent, Lisette Raymer. Okay. Breaking news of a broken boat in the Team New Zealand base was surrounded within seconds. Not just with the competition's eager eyes, but with fans who couldn't believe their own. The crane just dropped it from a few metres up, basically, and then it's just sort of smashed it onto the floor. We heard a massive bang, basically. And everyone just sort of all ran in and all started coming out. Inside the gates, the worry was worn on every face, a skipper shrugging in shock as the masterminds of engineering and design assessed the sleepless nights ahead and the boss mustered up a brave face. I mean, I'm not happy. There's not a person in this campaign that's happy at the moment. It was a crane failure as the boat was lifted out of the water after today's racing that saw Taihoro drop in free fall from around seven metres up. It's not something that can be fixed overnight. Oh, no, 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 no. This is, this is a significant um, fix. And whether that's five days or five weeks, I couldn't say at the moment. What's happening behind me in this boat shed is as close to an emergency meeting as you can get. You just never know what is going to happen next in the America's Cup. Team New Zealand has been dealt blows in the past. In Bermuda in 2017, the boat suffered some damage after a dramatic capsize, prompting a tireless repair effort. These sort of things can galvanise teams. Teams, strong teams, uh, react to adversity and come together. And, you know, we just had a meeting in the shed with all the guys. Everybody's here, no one's left. And it does feel a little reminiscent of what happened to us in Bermuda. But that was a 24-hour fix, and this definitely is not. Is this the most dramatic incident you've been involved with with Team New Zealand to date? No, losing's the biggest dramatic incident that I've been involved in, and we just won today. In fact, we had a really good day. A winning day on the water, but off it, a huge blow. The biggest challenge the defender now faces is time. Lisette joins us now live from Barcelona. Lisette, is there any update on the damage yet? Yeah, Sam, you can see behind me that after the chaos and all the action of yesterday, things are a lot calmer here on the Team New Zealand base this morning. That's not to say there are not a lot of incredibly busy people working behind the scenes to assess that damage and understand the extent of it. Grant Dalton joins me this morning to answer that very question. Good morning, Grant. What is the latest we know about what has happened here? Well, the, the structural damage to the boat, both aft and forward, uh, that's the most obvious thing. We luckily had the boat still switched on. It's actually quite a bit of lucky here in this whole thing. Um, and so we were able to look at all the data last night. The foils the boat fell onto its foils, which could have been quite bad, but the strains the foils saw because the rams relieved uh, wasn't really any more than a high sailing strain. So we think the foils and the tips are OK, not bent and not structurally um, compromised. Uh, the areas on the boat were easy to see and, and a, a tapping out of the carbon was able to identify the extent. Through the night the guys have uh, cut the front out of the boat or the, the, a big hole in the boat to, to remove the, the damaged part and they'll now start rebuilding a piece of, literally a piece of boat and, and put that back in place. That's in the forward part. Structurally aft it's more internal and they'll get in with the grinders, start grinding carbon and start fixing that. You use the word lucky which probably implies there's an element of good news involved in this. What's the latest kind of indication of timeline before this boat could be back on the water? Well, that's a little hard to say because these things, you know, can manifest themselves in areas that you, we haven't found yet. Um, but you know, I I've, I know how these guys are. They're, I mean, they're miracle workers, and um, we, you know, we optimistically might be back on the water tomorrow afternoon. These things have a way of defining the America's Cup. No doubt, Team New Zealand will be ready for some big shifts ahead, and we certainly wish them all the best. Sounds like a big job. Thanks so much. Uh, Lisette Raymer, they're live in Barcelona.